It's a long story, and one of the uh, native Israelis on the team joins us now here, Shlomo Lippitz. He could explain it better than I could. Come on in, Shlomo, one of the pitchers here for Team Israel heading into the Olympics. This is quite a journey for Team Israel. You were there pretty much from the beginning. Well, it's a Cinderella you know, story, and I've, been, I've seen it all. So I'm glad that the end of the, end of the trail leads us to the Olympics, and let's see what we could do. This is a team made up of a few native Israelis. Tokyo Olympics, there will be no spectators, unfortunately. I'm just curious, what is the situation there in uh, Maimonides Field in Brooklyn, which is, of course, in uh, the Coney Island neighborhood? Uh, what is the situation there? Well, there are actually, you can't see it in the picture here, but there are some cardboard cutouts of uh, fans that are in the stands here today. Listen, Team Israel is playing the, the New York Fire Department All-Stars here today. It's a tune-up game, so we weren't expecting a sellout crowd to begin with here. A lot of the stadiums still have limited uh, capacity, but it's really not going to be a factor. This is a tune-up tour. This is an exhibition tour. Uh, the fans of the Jewish baseball fans of Team Israel will be here. They'll be watching, but we're not expecting sellout crowds anyway, and that might be actually a plus for Team Israel, because as you mentioned, they're going to head to Tokyo. There will be no fans in the stands, so you've got to get used to that type of atmosphere. These are players who played in, in Yankee Stadium, some, some, in front of some of the biggest crowds in the world. They played in, uh, in packed crowds uh, uh, elsewhere around America. They're going to have to get used to only the sound of the music above uh, being present in those stadiums in Tokyo. I'm just curious, Mike, for our viewers in the New York area, are there going to be any more games in the New York area that they could uh, go and uh, watch uh, uh, the Israel uh, national team play? Yeah, there's actually going to be one tomorrow in uh, Panoma, New York, which is uh, around Orange County, Rockland County area. Actually, a, a huge Jewish population up there, mainly all Orthodox Haredi, uh, that they'll be playing out tomorrow. Many of the other games are outside the New York area, Pennsylvania, Maryland. They'll be making the rounds in the northeastern portion of the United States over the next couple of weeks as they uh, tune up here. By the way, a couple of the Team Israel players, including former uh, All-Star Ian Kinsley, who was a Major League All-Star four-time, Danny Valencia, another former Major Leaguer, they were playing just not that far away for the Long Island Ducks, a minor league team. For all, they were on a 10-day contract prior to this exhibition tour. Again, just trying to get back into a rhythm again before heading to Tokyo. It's been a while since they've taken the field and, and seen real action. You know, Mike, in one of Philip Roth's books, a character says the Messiah will never come unless a uh, team from Israel should win the World Series. Well, I don't know about the World Series, but if this Israel team wins the, uh, wins the Olympic game, Games in baseball, well, that that really is going to be something of a miracle, I have to say. And certainly, people in Israel are going to go. Crazy.
crazy about that. I would like to, I wish I was out there with you in Maimonides Field in Coney Island. Mike Wagner, I thank you for that.